Assalamu alaikum students. Let's uh, talk about the hybridization of SO3. What is the hybridization of SO3? So I'm going to tell you two ways to find out the hybridization of SO3 or each compound, sorry, each atom in the SO3. So what is the hybridization in here? Uh, I'm going to tell you a very simple way. They look, uh, there are two ways. Number one way is to see how many pi bonds are there. So see one pi bond and one sigma bond, the other pi bond and sigma bond, and the other pi bond and sigma bond. This can tell you, <coughs> you can see one pi bond is there, this pi bond, okay, this pi bond and that pi bond. How many pi bonds? So there are three pi bonds. When there are three pi bonds, and then you have to calculate the SPDF uh, subshells. So how many orbitals can be there? S has one orbital, write one. It has three, so write, complete the three from this. One, one is remaining, I mean three minus one is equal to two, and add the two from the P. So one is from the S and two from the P. This will become SP2. So this is one way you can know from the number of pi bonds, number one. The second one is, uh, there's another way I told you before. Look, you need to calculate all the electrons from the uh, outermost shell. So you can know you know that the sulfur and oxygen they are in one uh, on one group. So they have six electrons. I mean it has six electrons. It has six, six, and six. There are four atoms. So six into four it becomes twenty-four. The way is if the number of electron is between 2 to 8 divided by 2 let me write like this and 8 more than 8 divided by 8 now this is 24 so 24 divided by 8 become become 3 and this is the same way like I said before okay now now you have three in here. What is the meaning of this three? This three means number of orbitals. It means these are the number of orbitals. So how can you just know the the hybridization from here? You can know the hybridization from here like S plus P plus D plus F. S is one, S has one orbital. P has three orbitals, D five plus seven. But we, need, we have three only, so three, one from here, two from here, I mean one from S and two from P, and this is sp2. What about the oxygen, each oxygen? So there is a very simple trick. If there is a single bond with oxygen, it is sp3. When it is a double bond, this is sp2. So each oxygen is also sp2, and each sulfur is also sp2. There are a number of other ways as well, but these are the easiest ways, these two ways. Like you can know the number of uh, pi or, or electron. Sorry, uh, you can know the uh, you can calculate the number of pi orbit uh, pi bond. Sorry, pi bonds. And if uh, you don't know about the number of pi pi bonds, how many pi bonds are there? You don't know the structure. So if you know the structure, it is very easy. If you don't know the structure, then calculate all the electrons in the valence shell and divide by eight, whatever that is. So more than eight divided by eight, this is 24 divided by this one, the it will eight divided, it will give you three. And this, is, it means this three is the number of orbitals, number of orbitals. So now you can know from the here that it has one orbital, P3, D5, if same one, then you can just know from here that you can, you have to complete this from here. So one S and two P, it will give you SP2. So each one in here is SP, two.